Well Hello, future viewers. We are heading to New York City, and, well, with the city as important as that one, you know we're gonna face something special. The force experiments on the people of New York with unmanned super weaponry. It treats the eight million citizens who run about trying to escape like guinea pigs. Information has been obtained that energy power stations are supplying the massive weaponry. Before taking the huge weapons head on, destroy the energy supply facilities. The objective is the destruction of all target areas and the massive arms. This mission goes by the call name Operation We Love NYC. They couldn't have said We Love New York. That would be getting it too correct. Enemy forces occupy that would not New be in the spirit of Metal Wolf. The coup d'etat forces are experimenting with an unmanned super weapon to suppress the townspeople. Destroy the target areas along with the super weapons. Talk about massive arm. What is that? Carnival ride? <laughs> Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Hello, Michael. How's life treating you? Richard. What do you think of my cute little pet? Thanks to him, the people of New York City are right now festively uh, running around and trying to escape. <laughs> uh, it's like a big old carnival. It's like Mardi Gras in New York or something. <laughs> you are a sick. Take a bite from its super energy wave phaser. It'll get you high enough to reach heaven. Richard! I love it when the actors are clearly enjoying their parts. It's the best thing. If what he said is true, oh, I need to move out of there very fast because that energy phaser is no joke. It has a very wide area of fire and it does a ton of damage. Each target area paints powerful electromagnetic armor energy. The origin of the energy supply should be cut off first. So to clarify things a little, um, most of the target areas power up its uh, electromagnetic field, which um, dampens the effects of any attacks I might throw at it. But one in particular is the power facility for the phasers, and I'd like to go for that one first. Not just because that's what makes that uh, super weapon so much more dangerous, but also because um, if I don't go after it quick, that machine's patrol route goes back to its uh, phaser uh, power buildings very quickly. I do have enough power to bypass the monster and deal with the power source, but just barely. They must be out of their minds. Let's destroy it and weaken Daddy Longlegs. And of course, there's uh, prison boxes all over the place. A musician was among the POWs you rescued. Once again. There will be music on Broadway. Some this is the probably the... the <laughs> okay, uh, the shotgun actually works really well here because we have a lot of weak objects to destroy and the shotgun is pretty good at that. Also, if you do not bring a flamethrower into this level, you are going to be in trouble because there are a lot of those large flamethrower weak uh, vehicles rolling around. And there's not a whole lot of time to sit around. It's a little bit early for that. I, it's, it seems like the game assumed you'd go for that last or second to last or something. You see, I finished it just as the uh, as the super weapon arrived. Now it can still fire missiles, and those missiles hit hard and it fires them frequently so it's still not good to stay within line of sight of that thing for too much. But it's instantly hitting a very high damaging phaser. I, I messed up the air dash. It is no longer a problem. So I'm no longer in uh, danger of effectively instant death. And we got some reinforced buildings here, but thankfully we can sort of stay out of sight as we power up our gun. Now, as far as damage per second goes, this is not the best, but as for damage compared to ammo, it's actually not bad. Almost anything else would consume a lot of ammo to demolish those things.
Of course, having a machine gun is very handy for dealing with both kinds of robots that show up. There are some of the self-destructing ones. Most notably, the uh, super weapon drops them, so it's not advice to uh, try and uh, skid under that thing. That would be bad. The uh, transports also sometimes drop self-destructors, but more often they carry the ones that just have guns. By the way, the flamethrower is not advised against those things because they tend to walk backwards a lot. They are also very nice to uh, kill a whole bunch of them for money. They're actually worth a lot. In fact, doing a full uh, clear of this map gives a ton of money. Now, you don't actually have to clear away all of the uh, buildings that are powering up its electromagnetic shield. You can deal uh, plenty uh, of damage to it after there's still one or two left. But for the sake of completion and collecting things and showing what's on the map, I'm doing a full clear. By the way, you don't technically have to uh, shoot the self-destructing robots. You can just dodge out of the way as they jump and you should be okay. But uh, shooting them gets you more stuff. I kind of wish I realized it uh, the last time I faced them when all I had to fight them was a shotgun though. In particular, the side passages that are those narrow lines on the map are well worth exploring because they tend to have camps, energy pods, um, ammunition, all that fun stuff. And that uh, new quad rocket launcher does a very good job at instantly demolishing the lighter buildings. So that's pretty nice. And that's just about it. There's just a little bit of going back and forth cleaning up stuff. Um, the, <laughs> the super weapon is still dangerous, of course. Unfortunately, I left the last couple of uh, places scattered all over, which is uh, a problem with my routing, but also I, uh, I have to play it off the cuff just a little bit because the super weapon is not always predictable in how it moves, especially after it's had time to catch sight of you, chase you around a bit, and generally throw off its natural routing. No, not a flamethrower against those guys. Don't be silly. Woohoo, gotta be careful. Those guys are gonna jump at me for sure. Fortunately, that also destroys any other nearby uh, spider bombs. And now, why would I feel so comfortable using my burst against those guys when there's not too much level left and I haven't fought the daddy long legs yet? Well, give it a second. So the power-ups that get dropped, especially by crates, tend not to be randomized. Which is why I knew there would be a burst unit in there. And now I have another burst attack. Hooray! Now... It, I do have a little trouble keeping track of things, which is why I consult the map more than even in uh, Chicago, which is more complicated, but in that one I took more trouble to memorize everything, so I guess I have no one to blame but myself. 
But yeah, it opens fire every few seconds, and those missiles have excellent tracking. As far as I can tell, uh, there's no dodging them when they're out in the open. They, they handle corners very well. It's... Honestly, it feels a little bit unfair, but uh, I'll let it go because... You're supposed to remember that you can shoot missiles down. I mean, the game tells you right at the start, so I'm not too unhappy about it. And it would be not right for uh, well, a boss like that to be completely harmless after you destroy the buildings. Ooh, yeah. Good thing I did that full exploration. I would have missed a whole bunch of these things otherwise. Alright. By the way, those things are completely optional. You can just ignore them completely if you're doing a speedrun where you have a uh, very tight and specific progression of research to do. Oh, I got a little stuck there. The game got kind of confused on whether I was standing or jumping, so maneuvering was a little tough. I was thinking of exploring a little bit more to see if I missed anything, but you know what? I don't, I'm not sure I have time for that right now. Uh, and as you can see, without the uh, Electro Armor, that thing is extremely fragile. Wouldn't you know it, uh, a really weird prototype weapon is actually not practical at all. I mean, how many battlefronts can you could think of where um, you can just build that many support facilities around New York City is and all whatever that thing is built to last right Jody well depends in certain disaster movies I wouldn't say New York City is built to last but okay this is not really one of those. Oh, I only missed one. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not surprised that uh, my damage point ranking was so low. I mean, I did t eat a whole bunch of missiles there. And that was... yeah. Uh, that should be enough to fund what I have in mind for the future. Um, I didn't show my spending or equipping for this mission because nothing really happened. I put a, a couple of extra ranks in tech, but my gear was the same. Oh ho! The enemy force in the east also started withdrawing. Did they? It sure has been a long road to victory. Yes, it has. All that remains is your home. The White House. Mr. President, when this battle is over, I'm taking a paid vacation. I'd be careful saying something like that if I were you. The game isn't over yet. You know how it is. That's fine with me. You deserve some extra time off, too. Hmm, I can't wait. Last stop, Washington, D.C. Yes, Mr. President. The Information Management Department just contacted me. The coup d'etat forces are making an announcement on national television. Oh, this should be fun. Dear fellow Americans, good evening. This is an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, where the password is no more Metal Wolf. Metal Wolf, who escaped from military custody through cruel trickery, continues to. I wonder if there was originally supposed to be some sort of escape sequence after that scene where you apparently got to be uh, beat rise. up by Richard Hawk. As an American, this is most regrettable. 
please try to remember the names and faces of any of the ringleaders who instigated this terrorism. A heart of justice is a heart that loves America. Surrender now while your crimes are still not so serious. But if you refuse surrender, based on Article 48, Clause 4 in the newly enacted U.S. Constitution, I would love to read that whole Medical thing. Sympathizers and or any blood relatives removed four times or less, as well as schoolmates in all educational institutions, such as high schools and universities, as well as any co-workers or associates for any and all related people a public execution will be carried out he sounds so, so cheerful about it any terrorist sympathizers if an ounce of justice still remains in you give up on that man and surrender by 5 p.m. today this is our final ultimatum <laughs> I, I, uh, has been an very nice touch the there. Policy promotion department, where the password is, we love Richard Hawk. And only a game in Japan would use the phrase "that man" like that. Yep, um, jo Jody has left because um, all of those associated people would probably be killed if she didn't. So. We're in a little bit of a pinch. Well, sort of. I'm not sure how much Jody actually does. <laughs> uh, that laugh. You must have worked really hard on that one. Left all by your lonesome. Richard, what, what changed you? Michael, America has gotten too fat for her own good. These incapable pigs are eating this nation alive. The death of these freeloaders, leaving only the capable behind, will help me create a new nation. Hmm. Richard, you... Oh, and Michael, I forgot to tell you, but your presidential staff, those backstabbing idiots, well, I've decided they can die too. You! If you want to help those pigs, come to Liberty Island. And watch those worms wiggle in vain. <laughs> see you when I see you, Richard! <laughs> oh, wow, that's, I think that's only the second time in the game we hear that. Well, next time we're going to find out just what kind of trap they've set up for us on Liberty Island. It should be interesting. See you then. Welcome 